Hello everyone and welcome to SC Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the software engineering, and today we're going to be talking about performance under Groovy. So sit back and download a cup of knowledge because SC Geek begins now. Okay, today we're going to talk about Groovy performance. Now, this is a topic I think deserves its own episode. It'll be a fairly quick one, uh, not too, too much to talk about, but you know, it, it's a very important thing because often Groovy is just dismissed based on performance as being too slow, like, you know, probably on par with, you know, how Python is with it being dynamic. You know, I, I, I kind of said that before, not to offend, you know, Python people, because it's a perfectly um, great language. And another one of my favorite languages uh, before I found Groovy. Now, uh, one thing I, I'd like to say, you know, because, you know, this is like, you know, dismissed, but the, the other, another thing I'd, I'd like to say is, uh, if Java is too slow for you, the JVM is too slow for you, Groovy's not going to do it for you either. You know, you're going to have to go to, you know, either, you know, an embedded language like, you know, or something lower level like uh, C, C++, or I think uh, Go, and uh, there there are several other alternatives for, you know, if performance, like, you know, you need that real-time performance where you get have to tweak, you know, everything. You can't uh, handle having, you know, uh, garbage uh, collection and stuff like that, but for most people who are doing uh, doing programming for you know business requirements, uh, Java performance is usually good enough, and actually Groovy performance is good enough, and it's getting to the point where it's going to come really close to Java. Uh, there are a few uh, things where it's it's not quite there uh, right now, but uh, with the next version. It's gonna be, you know, almost right there, if not right there. Now, one of the things, since it's a dynamic language, uh, doing def, which uh, you know, I'm gonna talk about a little bit more later, but def is just usually used in place of object in um, in Groovy, uh, meaning it's just a, a dynamic variable. Anything could go into that variable versus having a typed variable like say you know string or int or integer or long or something like that uh you know in groovy itself you can specify the type and maybe eke out a little bit more performance currently i'll come back to that um another thing uh that's in groovy is, that i'm going to show you a lot later when i get into uh closures and the built-in uh closures is dot each which is uh, the groovier way of doing uh, looping versus for, uh, because it uses a closure, it's dynamic and has a little bit of a performance hit as compared to just doing a straight four. But it's a lot easier to read. You know, for me, it's a lot easier to read the dot each, and uh, you know, it makes the program look a lot cleaner and you know, things of that nature. Again, I'll come back to this. Now, I always, I also just mentioned closures uh, before. You know, obviously, this has uh, come into uh, the Groovy language and is kind of like, uh, you know, it's it's uh, Groovy's way of giving you some functional programming uh, techniques within the language itself. Typically, these have been less performance. So, if you do closures too much or overuse them, you can have a performance hit. Uh, but in general use, you know, if you use them, you know, judiciously, but not overuse them, you, you won't see too much of a performance hit, uh, you know, if any at all. Now, that being said, uh, something that has come up in uh, the 2.0 uh, Groovy release, which came out uh, well, not too, too long ago, uh, I don't remember exactly when, but now, but anyways, is uh, they now have optional static compilation. So with an annotation, you can actually statically compile code. Uh, this will give it, you know, a little bit more of a performance boost w over what you had before. But obviously, if you're using the static annotation, you can't take advantage of the dynamic features of Groovy. So, you know, it's sort of a trade-off. 
But with the uh, uh, addition of Invoke Dynamic in Java, the JVM Java 7, the the people at Groovy, you know, making Groovy have, uh, you know, figured out how to use this. This is going to be something, you know, Invoke Dynamic is going to be huge for just about any uh, dynamic language on the JVM, allowing you to get a lot more performance because, uh, you know, until recently they kind of had to monkey around and, you know, do some things, you know, which caused the, you know, uh, performance to go down when they were doing the compilation uh, for like dynamic languages but invoke dynamic allows them like a direct way to do dynamic stuff and from what I've heard with the uh, upcoming release which I think is uh, in a like beta right now the 2.1 release of Groovy they're getting really close to Java performance so you know, Groovy is starting uh, to look like a uh, a good contender for you know taking over for you know traditional Java. Even though Java itself has started, you know, finally uh, evolving a little bit more. Uh, you know, over the past you know uh, I don't know probably ten years or so, it's kind of been slowing down a lot. And you know, it's 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 a very solid language, but hasn't been evolving very quickly. Where Groovy has been evolving like rapidly, especially over the past couple of years. A lot of and a lot of other uh, people have been you know, mentioning Scala a lot, which is another language, which uh, its syntax. Uh, for me, is a little different. Uh, it's it's not my flavor, my taste per se. Uh, just because they reverse a couple things, uh, you know. It's it, you know, if you got used to it, I'm sure it's just as great. But it's very uh, statically typed, JVM based language, um, where as uh, which you know has you know the performance you know on par with Java. Whereas Groovy, you know, it actually simplifies a lot of the syntax, um, and for me was just so much more intuitive. And now they're giving you things like optional static compilation, and they're putting it in Invoke Dynamic to, you know, kind of fill those performance gaps and make Groovy a lot more performant than it was before, making it, you know, in my opinion, one of the the most appealing languages out there. Now, you know, that's just my opinion. Obviously, there are a bunch of languages. You know, pick your poison. Uh, some people like Clojure, not my mine, but this Invoke Dynamic, which came in Java Seven, will help that as well. So that's really all I had to say about uh, performance. Like, you know, there are some misnomers that it's like it's really slow, but they've been turning it around a lot lately. So you know, give Groovy another check if you if you looked at it in the past and it was you know a little too slow for you. It's coming right up to Java, and you know, in the future, it'll be right on par with it. So I'll talk to you next time.